Welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Michelle here with a really cool festival to tell you about and some interesting information about something that is going on involving all the residents here in Iowa that you might not have known about. That's right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, Christine Curry, you're yes. one of the co-organizers of the Iowa Water Festival. That's right. And this is the first year for this. It is. This is the inaugural uh, event for the Iowa Water Festival. Okay. Talk about just how, since you are one of the you know, co-founders of this event, right. um, what spurred the event for you to, you know, create and kind of what you're trying to, you know, help with this effort? Well, I, I returned here after being gone for many years and uh, started looking at all the things that were going on in our state. We have so many wonderful things that are happening with uh, cultural events, music and art. But there's nothing that's really hitting the environment, especially with water quality. And uh, returning to the state, I started looking around to see what is happening and started attending events and conferences and found out that we are in really um, a dire need of um, improving our water quality. It's really, really well, bad. We've heard stories about this, of what has to be done to the water supply that the city of Des Moines uses, for example, and how much they have to treat it because of the uh, pollutants that are in the water system right now. But how polluted are the water systems that you found? Well, just recently, even last week, there was an article in the Des Moines Register. We're number one for number two in the whole United States, and we are one of the major contributors to the dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico. In the Gulf of Mexico? Yes. We're, Iowa is. <laughs> yes, absolutely. How does that work? Well, all of our waterways that are contaminated flow into the Mississippi River, and that flows into the Gulf. So we're, we're connected from land to sea. We're not landlocked like a lot of people think we are. Never heard that before. Okay, talk a little bit more just about your background and kind of how you got involved in a lot of these different efforts. Well, I've always been connected to the environment since a, a little one. Mm -hmm. And I've always uh, worked with the environment in some aspects. Um, I, I worked with marine mammals for many years. And then I have a little uh, sustainable agriculture project that I started on the island of Grenada. And so now coming back to my home state, I'm just tying this all together. It's just been, you know, this really connects everything mm -hmm. back to where we are right now from in our connections. So the Iowa Water Festival, you're going to bring together some educators and some scientists and so forth. Talk a little bit about just the festival overall and some of the things that you're hoping to bring to the table and help create that awareness and hopefully some solutions down the road. Exactly, exactly. So we have some amazing uh, speakers lined up, uh, educators, scientists, and others that are going to be, uh, that are specialized in various fields. We're going to be starting with the original roots of our land, where we came from with the indigenous perspective mm -hmm. um, and uh, um, Danielle Wantati from the Meskwaki tribe. She's going to be talking about that. That's going to be the kickoff okay. uh, presentation. Okay. And then Mike Delaney from the Isaac Walton League will be talking about where we are today, our, our, our current landscape of what it looks like, and then our connections from land to sea with uh, two other speakers. Wow. Okay, nice. Yes. Now, is there anything that we can do today to help uh, at least kind of curb some of the things that are happening? Well, one thing is to come to the festival and learn about uh, some solutions and how people can get involved. And that's the whole purpose of this event is to raise awareness uh, and have some fun too. Right. What, you know, like here, what are some of the things as an individual that we can do to help make a difference? In so, this some of the solutions. Well, again, some of the panel members and the speakers will d be discussing some of those solutions. Okay. And one of them is just being aware of what you can get involved with. And that's um, following some of the groups that are doing uh, good things that are involved in policy making and so forth. And one thing too is to uh, you know, hold your um, elected officials responsible and let them know that this is a, important. This is a vital resource that's important to everybody. Now, is there anything any individual can do uh, is what our question is. Is there anything that I can do myself today 
to help uh, alleviate or, or kind of curb some of the, the issues that are being created? Well, most of them are at, 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 yes, yes, there's a lot of different things that you, we can do, but one of them is, you know, to get involved um, in with the, some of these other groups with on bigger, a bigger movement. Be part of some right. of the bigger efforts mm -hmm. that exactly. are going on. And let everybody know that um, this is important. This is, there's no alternative, and this is our, one of our basic needs, and everybody has access, needs access to fresh, clean, quality water. And it's a statewide issue. It's mm -hmm. not a rural in an urban situation. This mm -hmm. affects everybody in our state and beyond. Okay, now Can you said you're gonna have some fun too. I <laughs> <heard>. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the fun. Okay, yes, absolutely. We have um, a, a lot of really great art uh, lined up. Um, and it's all water-related art. Mm -hmm. That and art is uh, just like water has been uh, encompassing um, our lives for many years, and uh, is a and is a form of communication. And this is what we're using as uh, a, you know to stimulate the conversation right. around water. We Art's a beautiful way to make is. those connections and express things, and I think that's a nice Absolutely. addition. Absolutely. We have um, the Body of Water dancers as well um, that will be performing and a uh, music jam following the afternoon events. And Tina Haas Finley has oh, written. Oh, she is? Yes, okay. she is heading up the music event and we have some other musicians and they're gonna, and she's written a special song too. Oh, she's and, awesome. Oh yeah, so we're super excited about that as talk, well. Talk about just some of the things that, you know, the, the water, of course, our drinking water and so forth, but also the water um, ways we're using for recreation and so forth, and maybe some of the things that are uh, attributing to some of the problems and putting us at number one in areas that we don't want to be number one in. Right, exactly. Well, this, we have obviously a big agriculture state, and, and, and unfortunately, a lot of the agriculture um, is contributing to these problems. But I truly believe that we can turn this around and lead by example. Our state is brilliant. We have a lot of really smart people around in our state, scientists and researchers and farmers too. There's some brilliant farmers and they know, they know and, they, and, and, and nobody here wants to have uh, be known for number one for number two. Okay, right. We can make a difference, but we need to start acting now. Now, when is the water festival? Well, it's Sunday. This Sunday, this the Sunday 23rd, okay. absolutely, it kicks off at 11 o'clock, and our opening ceremony starts at 11.30. We have a locally sourced lunch available from 11.30 to um, 2.30. And you, you were talking about all this great uh, food earlier. Right. And uh, the craft beer, we have uh, the Iowa Brewers Union that's going to be serving uh, samples, and they've made special brews for this festival. Nice. And utilizing, you know, qual quality water to do that. And we also have the locally sourced lunch, as I mentioned, we have um, uh, beef sliders and vegan sliders and um, beautiful produce from uh, Prudent Produce. All right, now where is this all gonna be happening? At the Isaac Walton League in Waterworks Park. All right, easy to find that place yeah. too. Nice. And you can go to iowawaterfestival.org, you can see there and learn more about a lot of the speakers that you're gonna be having at the event. And it sounds like some great information to help create some awareness Absolutely. to the problems and, and possible solutions and things that we can all be doing. And um, it sounds like it's, you're kind of trying to get all of us more involved with some of those bigger efforts that are already in place. Absolutely, and we're actually the kickoff for Art Week too. So this event also encompasses a lot of different avenues. We are gonna be uh, one of the first events in Art Week too. Oh, very so nice. So you'll have to, everybody needs to come and uh, take part and look at the beautiful art and learn about uh, and educate yourself about the water issues and have fun at the same time. The Iowa matters. Water Festival, Sunday, 11 to 5, and yes. Tina Haas Finley's gonna start singing afterwards, right? Absolutely, okay. and Very she's nice. written a special song and uh, there's gonna be an all-star choir singing for the cause. That's perfect. Well, you're so, doing great work, yeah. and uh, we you. wish you the best with this first Iowa Water Festival. Hopefully everybody can go out and learn more, mm -hmm. uh, iowawaterfestival.org, for more information. And just remember, water, there's no alternative. No. Yeah, there true, and I understand uh, there's it. somebody that might be a little familiar uh, showing up at the event, too, but whose name starts yes. you know, with the letter Jackie. <laughs> we, have, we are honored to have Jackie. She's going to be the MC, mm -hmm. and uh, we have some other fun things happening. Ray Gunn's done a special shirt. Um, um, 
and t uh, dish towel for us. Okay. And it's water, there is no alternative. That's our tagline. That's true. And we really want to get everybody um, in the state, everybody needs to be on board. This is an inclusive event to raise awareness and let's make our state number one yeah. all the way around. We want a green state. All right, perfect. Thank Very you. Good, good luck Thank to you, you coming up.